Okay, let's talk about the texture options. Okay, the texture is basically a pattern that either repeats yourself or is a one huge uh, pattern that you want to stick inside your box. Is what's inside. So let's. Um, I'm gonna do something really quick here and uh, go back to party panel and then turn off the color so that there will be none. Okay, no colors. Go. And then you go back to texture options. Now, when I change the texture options, uh, you got all these choices here. These are the default choices, the Blizzard stuff. Uh, you could import your own into the, your art library, and that's what the art library is for. Now, that uh, you'll have to have find someone to make for you, or if you're a graphic artist, you make yourself. But uh, as you scroll down here, it gives you an example of what the texture, what it looks like, and stuff. Uh, you can see my own custom art layer and uh, see how they are uh, texturized. And this is basically the technique I use to make these panels. Now let's go with the uh, parchment so we can see it better. There it is. Now your panel has this parchment look inside of it. Now the cool thing about this is you get really creative and change it to a different color and make it look different. Go back to the party panel, go back to the background color style, change it to solid. Boom, now it's dark blue with the gradient look. Okay, now we could just change it to green if we wanted to, like that. And we can make it brighter and darker, you know, and then you can make it, uh, make the opacity different so you can see through it. A lot of uh, really creative, cool things you could do with this stuff. Okay, let's change it back to none. Go back to texture options, and uh, you have a lot of things you could do with it. You could rotate the texture, so make it look uh, different, or maybe try something new. You could flip it horizontally and vertically. Um, you could tile it, depending on uh, what kind of texture you have. Sometimes you could just get a small texture and then tile it so that you can make it repeat itself. Or you could make, or the tile could be bigger to make it more fluid. Again, a lot of graphic art uh, type of um, uh, theory here that you have to deal with. Okay, you change the size of the t the tiles as well. And the next thing we're gonna look at is you could change the border texture. Now, how does this work? Let's go ahead and turn off the texture here to none. Which is not, this is one of the bugs in this program. Can't, some, if I change it to none, it's just nothing. I'll change it to solid. Okay, now let's go to the border. Now, let's go ahead and pick a different border. Right now, it's a party tip. That's where you see the thin silver border, the nice little rounded stuff. Now, you got the achievement wood. I guess this is when you get an achievement, it uh, shows up. Now you see th how the border changed there. Um, let's go, hold on one second here, let's go back here and change it to um, solid. Uh, let's change it to light gray. I'm just doing this for your benefit because of the video. Okay, now um, we could also change the border to uh, the chat bubble as well as the dialogue. Uh, dialogue gold. You know, you have all these options, and you can make the border edge a little bigger, okay, smaller. So it's it's all really up to you on how you want to make it look, you know, how how it fills out your screen, how it looks, and stuff like that. We'll change, we'll leave it like that. So now you have this uh, border of this uh, gold dialogue, as well as um, a gray, light gray, or dark grayish uh, background that you could play with. And then when I have my party show up. Uh, they will show up in that box. And you have other um, stuff that you could mess with, like background insets. You don't really have to worry about this, but if you want to play with it, you just change it around. It's basically the spacing. The insets basically the spacing between the outer of the outer edge of the border and the edge of the texture itself. All right. Well, there's two reasons why you would use text for a panel. Like the first reason is I'm on my party panel right now. I just stuck in a text here. In my party panel and it has a little light word that says party just to you know kind of uh, bookmark it and saying this is what this box is for because when I'm not in party all you're going to see is that box maybe you want to just put a big word in there and fade in it says party and you'll know where that goes the other thing to use uh, the text for is if you actually want to make a panel to act like a button or do a certain uh, thing let's go ahead and create a new panel here and we'll call it button I want to create a panel so that when I click on it, it does something. All right. So here's my little button. 
Now, if I want to get creative, I go to Photoshop, make a cool looking button, and then uh, just import it as a texture, take out the border, and suddenly I have this really cool looking button. So let's go ahead and open the button uh, properties, go to text, and say open bag. Okay, say OK. The word appears here. Make the font a little bigger. Let's readjust the size on the panel here so it looks more like a button than anything. There you go. Uh, you can change the font color if you wanted to. By the way, I'm talking a little fast because uh, the server is about to reset, but I wanted to get this uh, video out of the way. Now go back to general settings. Now remember when I says don't click intercept mouse clicks. In this case, this is what you want it to do. You want it to intercept the mouse click. When I click on this panel, it's supposed to do something. Okay, you don't want to mess with the uh, uh, you don't want this clicked for a regular panel where you just want to use it as background because uh, if you do click on something over that panel, it'll think the panel will think that you're clicking the panel, so it doesn't do anything. It, like you can't select uh, the target in the party in this case if uh, we use this example. Now we have intercept mouse clicked. Clicked. Uh, I'll customize the other stuff later. Right now it looks like a really cool button moving around anywhere. Now this is where I go into scripts. Now you have to have knowledge of scripts of the wild scripts not macros but wild scripts okay so here I open the script thing and it has all of these little events when something is done to this panel it will trigger this event in this case on click every time I click this panel it will toggle bag zero okay let's see how it works accept go button so lock the panel if I click this it toggles my bag zero that I have uh, on my inventory. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I talked about showing my UI and stuff. I'm going to make that on the second video because this video is getting really long. Um, I gave you the basics of how to use KG panels, how to make uh, different panels and how to make it work for you. You can stack the panels on top of each other. Uh, let's go really quick, make a new panel and call it uh, me because this is will, will be the uh, background for the uh, unit for myself here. There you go. And then I go to me. Let's go ahead and uh, make this solid. Make the background color red. Really big so that it looks like it's red. There you go. We can solid that way I'll know it's me and then we lock it and then you just you could like stack it move them around and stuff like this the way you want it to um, and uh, there you got just be as creative as you can it doesn't look like my UI like I said it's customized now we'll do that in another video kind of show you the basics of how to get to that end of it um, that's more advanced stuff and I can't teach you how to be a graphic artist but maybe you have a friend that could do it for you um, that's it for this video, and I hope uh, you like what you see with KG Panels. And that's it. If you like all my videos, please add me and uh, subscribe to my uh, videos on uh, YouTube. It makes me feel special. Okay, and I'll talk to you guys later.